they told me that uh, our house is being destroyed, broken down, and uh, so as the football club as well. And so there is no place called home for me to go back. I thought maybe I would lose all of them. I'm talking to them for the last time. I don't know how to express that feeling. It was really scary because I, as I said, I thought I would lose all of them and I was speaking to them for the last time. And I told my mom, please do not hang up the call. Please be on the line. Fortunately, I, I would say my parents, my family, everyone escaped alive and that's, I would, you know, it's God's plan, I would say, that they're alive and I'm happy about that, but everything that we ever earned and ever had is being all taken away. Now we have to, again, uh, as a family, regroup, build the strength and then we start again. So we can't plan anything at the moment and it's really sad to see uh, my family suffering. That's one of the reasons I couldn't go uh, play for the national team on the 15th of May. I was called uh, for the national team to represent the country, which I couldn't go because the, given the situation uh, back home was very difficult for me uh, to not be able to be part of the team. In a footballer's life, uh, playing for a country, it doesn't come every, every now and then. So missing out on such tournaments and such matches we hardly play uh, around 10 matches a season, uh, a year, uh, for the national team. So, I have missed out on those uh, 8 to 10 matches, which is really sad. But given the situation, I think anyone would choose the, to be with the family. And then from there on, then I heard the news of uh, our house being destroyed, burned and being torched. And then after a few hours, again, the football turf that I built, uh, in the locality in Chochanpur, Pibong, uh, is being burned, destroyed as well. So I got this information and uh, it was really heartbreaking and sad because I had a big dream of, uh, you know, providing a platform to the youngsters coming up in Chochanpur. They were really talented, but they couldn't afford a football school. So my dream, my plan was to provide them a platform where they can become a professional player and then they can go on and uh, uh, play for the national team and then become a great player for the country and help their family as well uh, a lot of uh, a lot of kids come train and i provide them uh, training in the morning uh, free of course of course and then uh, in the evening uh, there are bookings they come to play and things like that my plan was to have an established football school for which i was building up a gym spa and you know for ice and hot therapy as well so i was trying to do things uh, what a professional player gets so that they are train well in the gym, they are trained well in the ground and then they have a good recovery session as well. So that was my plan, that was my dream, which I won't give up on. I will again, hopefully restart again and try to build elsewhere. That's my dream and I won't give up on that. But for now, uh, it's very difficult to plan because as I said, uh, there's no certainty where when we can go back and restart again. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.